best thing about where we are is that it's real Africa, it's really rural. Um, this is, it's not a place where tourists, uh, where tourists kind of come in their flocks. It's really, really kind of untouched in that sense, which basically means that we're perceived in a very positive light, which kind of allows us to really be positive in our, in our impact. When we walk around Kanungu, which is the town, we are really, really, really welcomed. I get just local people just shouting, Teacher Will, Teacher Will, at me. It's like we are a genuine part of the community. A lot of singing. <laughs> It's just really, really wonderful to be around the kids every single day. It's nice to get to know your own class, actually. It's nice to kind of get to know each of their little characters and personalities and hang out with them. So, where is Rwanda, Sosti? They have been very nice to us. They have been lovely and very kind to our pupils. And they have given us the challenge as regards time management and practical teaching. The people from England taught us practical, practical work, taught us, taught us football, and taught us how to play the guitar and, and some good songs. Teaching has been the main thing, but also we've uh, had so much fun uh, during the weekends and in the evenings. We've gone on safaris and you know I went gorilla trekking and uh, what else we do? Went to Lake Bignoni, which is this uh, massive uh, lake, uh, really, really the deepest one in Uganda, um, where there's it's just this amazing resort, which is kind of luxurious even for English standards. I thought it would be a lot more challenging in terms of living conditions than it is. I think we live in relative luxury here. Yeah, in comparative to the best, like Kanungu town where we're based. And my we student are house. So lucky. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is absolutely beautiful. The lodge is gorgeous. The view from the lodge is amazing. The seeing the sunset and sunrise is incredible, and the mist in the morning. And we have a campfire, so it's just an amazing scenery to be around. <laughs> <laughs> I've already made about three or four great, great friends who I'll never forget and will see when I go home to England. And even some of the local people here in Uganda I will keep in touch with. I can't wait to come back. I don't want to go home. I can't wait to come back one day.